Life on the Farms, Old World Wisconsin. Located in Eagle, Wisconsin, Old World Wisconsin features buildings and homesteads from around the state in time period correct settings. This section of Old World Wisconsin features multiple farms, including a Hessian farm, Polish, and two Pomeranian. Bianca in her natural environment, doing what Biancas do. Now it's all in the sun. In the middle of the food, there's some grains, dinosaurs. Turtles and a little. Yeah, this is that. Uh, I believe this is the black church, isn't it? Okay. Mural point. Somebody's got to take care of the place. Another 16 year old? Mm -hmm. She's way away from the rest of the grinds, too. Sisters, we are gathered here today to praise our Almighty Creator. Boys and wonderful girls. <laughs> this is the Captain Young. I'm here to rock your world. Let's talk about this thing called life. Billy Blood. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have to put, yeah, you go up there and be all serious. Mind if we film? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome. Yeah, this is the 1870s Hessian. Um, this is, uh, well, this is the summer kitchen and that you would have cooked out here in the summer to kind of keep away from the heat and, you know, keep your house keep cold. Keep your house cold. <laughs> yep. That kind of thing. Comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you're welcome to come in here. Um, Sorry. Oh, so I was just making some rye bread. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be. <laughs> it seems a little dense, but um, so yeah. So uh, this was a German, well, Prussian family. It didn't have Germany uh -huh. uh, in the 1870s. Right. So it was kind of broken up in a bunch of pieces. So um, yeah. So you would have, if you've seen that. Have you seen that before? <laughs> One of those big vats. No. So that was mainly for like bath water and okay. stuff. You wouldn't take a bath in it. You would right. just Scoop eat up out. all your water. I think it was a little faster than buckets. So. <laughs> so, and I also got some potato soup going. So <laughs> that's what I've seen that before. Yes. <laughs> that is the second largest kraut maker that I've seen. Yeah. I actually have one bigger. Oh, really? Yes. Like, how big, how big are you talking? <laughs> so it is about the same length, about the same width, but it has six blades. Oh. Adjustable, all adjustable, where you can actually cut how thick the crowd is being. Wow. Uh, has, the, has the box on it. I made my own uh, pusher yeah. for it because I could not find a pusher. Is it is it like like a historical piece or is it more modern? Uh, no, it is actually. <laughs> it's oh, that aged. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's correct. Old. Yeah, it's, okay. it's old. Oh, yeah. cool. I guess you could probably make a lot of sauerkraut a lot faster <laughs> with that kind of contraption. Even the crowd ponder that I have in the garage. Yeah. It's very much like that one. So after you slice it, then you put you sit there and you pound it. Add salt. Found it some more. Hey. Alright, thank you very much. Alright. Yeah, there are a few more buildings, so yep. feel free to take a look around. Hi. I didn't understand. I the wonder moment. if there were issues with the roof. Was it leaking? Mm, probably. Or was it just this should be repaired? Like we have keep the kilt down. There's children. Look at all those nice socks. <laughs> right? It's funny those caught my eye too. <laughs> well, they look really nice. See if I could get a a um, anorak like this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yep, this is where you'd store the kraut, or hang the hang all your herbs and stuff on those beams. Potato box or onions. Yeah, out of the sun, out of the yep. weather.
not so no. far. <laughs> ceilings. Mm -hmm. Love the fences. Fucking love the fences. Where they would have had yeah, that, and the hay would have been stored up there. Efficiency. Lots of beehives up there. Yeah. It's a good place for them. Out of the way? Up there. Ceilings, they're shorter people, so they can, it wasn't as far for them to fall. Yeah, they would have had to like, climb up it. <laughs> Put a knee on it. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Her> sister. <laughs> I wish she got in. This was up in Toronto about that time. Your relatives could have visited this place. Oh no, are you kidding? Dude. If they were anything like Ken. <laughs> Antisocial and... <laughs> Anti-Polish. <laughs> yeah. Chicken coop. Smells like a chicken goop. Do you recall? Like, they demanded that they do everything in German because they were German. Yeah. Polish nursery rhymes. So they don't rhyme? Aha, aha, aha. Sounds like a rap song. Can you do that again? That kind of got me where I needed to be. There's a bed right here. Go away. I can't go alone to the bathroom. Hey, what's the... So what is the pulleys for? <laughs> Help you up? Yeah. <laughs> when you get back from polio. <laughs> That there's more places. Uh, 
But I mean, they also mentioned the roadside so. <laughs> More! Oh, you see it down? Oh yeah, mommy, I'm proud. You should come. Huh? Honey, you grab. German efficiency. <laughs> You had your whole entire front yard garden. Yeah, this is the center one. This is the best one. How long does it take for the light to adapt? I have to pull out my phone. You know, the pizza oven. <laughs> Me crying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go back through the house. Now that everybody's out. I believe so. I want to say that's uh, sage. This looks like mint or um, creeping Charlie. Mostly, it looks more like mint. I'm not gonna pick it up and smell it because. And just be weird. The cross on the wall. That little heater, wood stove, little bitty thing. I do like this wood stove. How oh, it has the arch on top. Just to make sure. Oh yeah, we didn't get this. Okay, so. Yeah. Your pizza oven again. Get your pizza oven. Maybe some. Meat hooks. I'm trying to dual light this. Actually. Mm. Mm. 
board with a pizza oven and some scraping implements. important stuff. So it's pantry and there's like stuff in crocks up there with cheesecloth over them so they it could be cheese, could be sauerkraut, could be all sorts of different stuffs. in the back corner that is a nice orchard this is our second pair of house getting German but hello, hello. Mind if we film? Pardon? Mind if we film? You can film all you want. Have you been okay. here before? Yes. A long time ago, but yes. Do you know the story of the capsules? Uh, he was a brick master builder. 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 Exactly. And I always say, you can tell because he's showcasing his talents with these posts. He didn't have to make them this ornate, but if you're a customer and you walk up to this house, do you see what he's trying to do? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is a Pomeranian home. You can tell by the diagonal wood here. But do you notice the uniquely American element to it? The front door? The porch. The porch. If you look at German homes this time period, porches were not. This is a uniquely American architectural style because when they come here, this is a land of opportunity. Leisure enters into their vocabulary. They can sit on the porch for a moment. Whereas if it were a German farm, you would have crops to your door because you know your family had kept using that land and all that kind of stuff. So it's an example of them starting to Americanize right away. Okay. Isn't that cool? It is. Yeah, yeah. 
You're welcome to walk in if you like, take videos. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Cedarburg, and again, that showcasing of their prosperity. Or the family do that, they so prosperous. He was a master builder. He had a farm. Okay. He was kind of interesting. He built this house in Jackson. He bought 160 acres, only 40 total. The rest were swamps. And in that swamp, he had camera for practices. He could harvest those trees for his master building. Yes. Okay. Pretty ingenious. This is it a is. smoker. Absolutely. Yeah. We noticed that in, well in the other house as well. That yeah, they have a true black kitchen, yeah. but this was their modification of that. So even at some point, even if you're cooking in here, it would draw in. You're always drawing smoke, so we put yep. your sauces. This is the smoker. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, you see. I think this is one of my favorite things we're always showing you. It's like huge German population moving in, three different waves. And so the manufacturers of the stoves are actually starting to cater to the German population. It's a waffle maker. Nice. And they even have it in Germany. Germany. So what a smart marketing tool, eh? To try to get people to buy your product. translate to anything that makes very much sense. That's a lot. Did you hear about the walls? No. I wonder if you were to take it to um, Amish or Mennonite community, if they would be able to translate, because yeah. it's, a, it's a specific mm -hmm. uh, yeah. dialect of German. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know who we've seen before and tried to um, translate it. One of my coworkers, um, who's our education coordinator, her mother-in-law um, is from the region of Germany that the, the folks who made okay. these were. So she's going to see if her mother-in-law can help us. Yeah. Oh, yes, in the German nursery rhymes is always fun. <laughs> There's more on the back. Thank 
kiddos and others who know a little bit of German, but we have ones in our Polish house too. And Polish is a yep. whole other animal. Yeah. <laughs> I only only did seventh grade German, so that's just, uh -huh. and that was many moons ago. <laughs> no, all four years in high school. <laughs> My dad thought he knew German, but actually his grandparents um, spoke Yiddish, so it's oh, like in yeah. the middle. Yeah, it's mixed. So. <laughs> yep. I'll come back later for your mandatory. So my baby blanket was like this. This is actually the style of okay. <laughs> rags with the little tuft in between or in the center. So you go to sleep tight and let the bed bug bite yep. you? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's why I said it's nice you can see that. <laughs> is it though? Yeah. I mean, just the idea. Have you ever laid on a straw mattress? Uh, no. no. You are welcome to. Thanks. Try it. I have allergies. That's one of the things that no, I'm I'm allergic to straw too, so yeah. I touch it very gently. I get you. You guys have a size of the I'm also allergic to feathers, so no down or. Yeah, yeah. Well, that one's going to be too short for me, but maybe it doesn't. Now, Gary's inside the shed. He has some good mechanical devices as well. Okay. So there was a metal version of that yeah. in there. That was for crushing right, apples, shoot? the other one. This one is more for grapes or softer fruit, making wine. <laughs> That's the mechanical genius of Germans. German engineering at its finest. Again, this one, this would have been for harder things that you're crushing to try and, and then the pulp would have fell into the basket and it would have been a block that went inside there. And as you screw that down, it, the screw squishes the pulp. I was gonna say clamp. I know, but yeah. yes, it's six of one. Six of no, one half. More specific. That's correct. But this advice that a clamp is six of one half dozen of the other. I know, but it, it makes you think of a specific type of clamp. There we go. This is actually more of a vice, and and that would have slid in and out. It's a little off. Schwellen. Yeah, this guy was doing well for himself. Yeah, he said. Better way to do it, and he convinced him. 
Too. Ah, there it is. Holy shist. Good lord. Takes up the whole corner. <laughs> and then some. That's yeah, probably a pig too. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. Oh yeah. Chickens. I was gonna get him across the road though, because that seems like he. That's fine. Just as soon as you. Well, you know he's gonna go in. Yep. Into the shell. Yeah. Okay, let's get you. Oh, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. I lied. Curve, not crack. Okay, there you go. 